I, uh, I first started playing football. I was five or six. I was young. Um, it was down there in Pasco. I played for the Pasco Police Athletic League uh, for the Buccaneers um, down there in, in, in Newport Ritchie. And it was, it was, really, it was a really good experience for me. Um, I got, that's where I started loving the game. I was good at it. I was a little man. Um, I wore number six back then, as I do now, so it's kind of my signature number. It was a great experience, and I really enjoyed it. And if I could go back to it, I would. Just being a little kid, being able to run around, looking like bobbleheads out there, it was good. Uh, transitioning into middle school, my sixth grade year, it was uh, Challenger. I came, I went to Challenger in the Quest program, and and the whole transition was weird. Um, it's not what it's not what you're used to. I mean, you go from um, being in elementary school, the same class every day, to moving classes every day, and then afterwards to football um, with bigger, stronger, faster kids than you ever thought you'll be. And um, even even now, looking back, um, it, I, was, I was always looking up to them giants and, and being scared. Um, but it's, it's something that um, really makes you mature because um, you get to hit these guys pretty much all day, and they are twice, if not three times your size. So it's a little um, scary, I guess you'd say, going into it. Um, but it really brings out um, the, the fear factor in you and, and, and how you're able to just flip that off and just to go have a lot of fun. Um, but it is definitely a different transition going into sixth grade. And then in the seventh grade year, um, you, you get bigger and, it, and not trying to figure out where you are in the depth chart and everything. Your seventh grade year um, is, is a struggle and it's a constant fight for your spot. Um, we, were always, we were always good. We were the top, one of the top competitor, uh, com competitors for uh, the title, so it was, always a, it was always a struggle to keep your spot. And then eighth grade year, um, it was our team. Um, I remember me and a few of our friends. I still play up um, against them today because we're all at different schools now. Um, to look back at all the memories and um, to look back to where you started in sixth grade and then have that be your team and to wear that uniform for one last time is, is something you'll never forget. Going into my freshman year, um, I remember sitting at one of the Hernando games when in my, it was my, either my seventh or eighth grade year, and I looked at my mom and said, I want to go to this school because I like the atmosphere. I like the downtown feel of it. So that's where I went. I went up to Hernando. Um, and just walking in, first day of summer, it was, um, just to just put it this way, it was very different than what I was used to, kids, because you're 13, 14, and you're looking up at these 18, 19 year olds, and you're like, wow, that's going to be me one day. Being under a completely different um, coach and a different coaching style, and, and just the way things are run um, compared to middle school is, is, um, is hard to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's fun. Going into my um, sophomore season, we were under a brand new head coach, um, Earl Garcia III. The atmosphere was different. We felt more like a team and that we wanted to be together and hit people and, and just have a love, of, a love of football. So it was, that was one of the seasons that I realized that this is it, this is what I want to do. Um, and, and my sophomore year, I got a little bit of playing time on varsity. Friday Night Lights is just a different feel with the band. Um, and then going into my junior season, I was full starting varsity. Uh, I was strong safety and wide receiver, and it was uh, an absolute blowout year for me. Um, personally, I had 57 tackles, um, two interceptions. One of them won the game against Nature Coast. But my junior season under Garcia was my favorite season of football ever in my whole life. Um, just being able to, to know that we did something that Hernando will remember forever. Um, we won the county, beat Nature Coast and Springstead in the same year. Not many Hernando teams can say that, so it was it was one season that um, I always remember. When I met Manny, um, he was hitting me up on Twitter, texting me, and um, letting me know that he was going to be one of our offensive weapons and that he could play both sides of the ball. He didn't mind playing both ways the whole game. He was very excited about uh, me coming on board as the head coach. And uh, he had a lot of expectations for me, just like I have a lot of expectations for him. I love a challenge. Um, everyone in my family says I love a challenge. That's just me. And um, I think that's why um, being on the weightlifting team and the track team since my freshman year is always something that I look forward to. Um, the off season, I just can't sit still and do nothing. I have to do something, um, especially even in school. Um, right now, I'm, I'm in um, advanced classes. I purposely choose them so I can have a challenge in school um, as well as um, outside of school um, with football and weightlifting and track. It's just, I, I can't sit still. Uh, he's a hard worker in the weight room. Uh, he doesn't say too much. 
Uh, he's not, uh, you know, a big talker on the field. He just does his job, runs his routes, covers his guy on, on defense, and uh, he's a leader by example. That's one thing I like about Manny. Um, he wants to play at the next level, so I'm going to help him play at the next level. Being able to step it up and, and, and to put on a better performance than I did last year is something I, I've worked my butt off all summer, and I, I would do everything I can to make it possible. Because um, if, I, if I do that, the whole team will succeed, and, and we want to go to the playoffs. My expectations for Manny on the field this fall is to do whatever we need him to do. Whatever we're asking him to do, whether it's block, run routes, uh, clear out, whatever it is on offense that coach needs him to do, we want him to, to, to embrace that role. On defense, he's probably going to be one of our top corners. Uh, he's going to have to shut down the number one receiver most of the time, and uh, we're expecting him to uh, be running on all cylinders all season. Four years is a long time, and, and it, went by, it went by pretty fast. Um, I had a lot of great memories, and I had a lot of support. Um, for my family, um, especially my mom and my dad, um, Tiffany and Aaron. I love them so much. Um, you name it, they were there in support. Um, I'm, I'm, my mom and dad have pretty much shown up to every single one of my games. They have not missed a single one. And um, Coach Jerry Blake as well, um, Jeremiah Blake, ever since the HYL days and the middle school days, he's been training me track and football. Um, and and um, me personally, I'm really just excited that this is it, this is my final ride. Um, it's my last time wearing the purple and gold, and I'm going to go out with a bang because I got no other choice.